Hey Hey guys, on today's episode, we're going to be drinking uh, some Celebration Ale here. It probably, like, isn't picked up. Probably not. Especially if I'm, like, talking up here. Probably, Probably yeah, well that helps, yeah, because you probably weren't barely picked up even, yeah. So So they were like, wait, what did he say? Like, why did he just agree for no reason? But... Anyways, yeah, so today's episode Anywho. we're drinking the uh, Celebration Ale, and um, this, is a, this is a favorite of ours here. Yeah. Every year, yeah. Every year? Every year. One, one year you rated it a, a uh, 3.25. We talked about this, and I don't agree with myself. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Those are the old days. Those are the all, old days. All the way days. back in uh, 2019. That, that was old rating, right? Yeah, it's old. So that was with um, and there's an episode, obviously, since it's on our ratings. Um, yeah, 2019 for a while is one of our most viewed videos with British John Pickering. That is right. Yes, I remember that. So there you go. I wonder. I wonder if it's because he's British. Or if it's just because we had a guest, I don't know. General, you know, there's uh, or so, you know, celebration that day that year was trending. I don't mm-hmm. know. Well, and there was more promotion of our stuff. We were on Instagram. That's we true lazy too. Assholes, you know, yeah, mostly me, but yeah, those things for sure. So yeah, probably played a part, more than zero parts. I don't know why my malt is black, but the I was other thinking ones, that too. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, celebration IPA. You know, I is it always an IPA? It has been. I don't. You no. Know, well, I just wanted like in my mind, I'm thinking celebration pale ale, and it no. So they they've labeled it as celebration ale. Yeah. Oh, that's maybe that's what I'm thinking of and then you know, yeah like like how they do all their fucking beers yeah they just call everything <laughs> it's ale. a fucking ale like oh thanks <laughs> thanks for getting super specific on me there i really appreciate it but um because no every time i've said celebration i've said celebration ale fresh hop ipa so i guess i'm just misremembering yeah um, but yeah, it's Sierra Nevada's. Well, a it's a fresh hop, but it's a little unlike uh, normal fresh hops. It is brewed specifically to be a winter beer. Yeah, they do start the brewing process post harvest pretty quickly, but it's uh, it comes out a little bit later. They say this year, available from October to December. Oh, so and there's a lot of it they sell it in 12 packs pretty awesome i like how much i've been able to find it this year yeah it like has been like too easy to find which i've been very happy with no such thing with this good of a beer it has been easy to find which i've been happy with um but yeah they they talk specifically about like they they perceive this beer like in like market competitor um to compare against other winter ales um, like this year specifically. Look at look at the cabin on there. Is this? that a thing? Focus. I think it was this year. You have to put it like over my face. I nailed it. Look at that cabin right there. Uh, that's where you want to enjoy that. Where was I reading? Maybe what? Yeah, what were you looking for? Well, they specifically call out it being a winter beer. Mm. Maybe it just... It, okay. Uh, I mean, yeah, they say... Like in 2019. I'm trying... If you read the beginning of that, it kind of... Yeah, one of the few... Yeah, one of the few hop-forward holiday beers famous for its citrus and pine... I don't know. Yeah, I mean, this, this the start of celebration season is a festive event, and oh, that last year. While other holiday beers, that's I was looking for the word winter, but it's holiday. Mm, yeah. While other holiday beers go heavy on spice and sweetness, celebration wields fresh hops, the first harvest of the season, towards complex and cabin cozy notes of pine, citrus, and malty caramel. That's interesting. So. I wonder what they do. They specifically say. Uh, the first harvests of the season, and yet mm-hmm. this is brewed later. So I wonder what they do. If they just freeze them. If could they just be a long brewing process, that could be too. It doesn't. Yeah, their brewing process is a month. That's or, well, yeah, yeah. 
That's interesting. So, hmm. but yeah, I think they, I think they nail it. Like this piney does have some citrus, and then obviously, like it has definitely some malty warm tones. Yep. Yep. No, absolutely. Uh, so this is six point eight percent, sixty five IBUs. Um, if if you wanted to know, it has two point six grams of protein. Uh, just in case you need to know that. I mean, some people need to know that. So. Not not the most anabolic beers at two point six protein and two hundred and twenty three calories. But <laughs> I mean, I would say for beer, yeah, that's that's I don't know. It seems like a lot of protein for a beer for me. Okay, I don't know. Maybe I just don't know. But. And I just don't think it's really normally listed. Mm-hmm. Um, but not only is this uh, celebration in time for the holidays and a holiday winter beer, yeah. But we too are amidst a celebration today. That it's a holiday on day of filming is very true. I'm so glad we were able to film on such a wonderful, beautiful day of remembrance. Uh, Happy Insurrection Day. Happy, cheers. Yeah, cheers to you guys. Man, what a beautiful sentiment. People were able to, you know, just just go about their lives and just show the government how they feel. Well, just, you know, uh, peacefully walk through government buildings. Yep. Saying, demonstrating, if you will, uh their their thoughts and beliefs um i almost taking care to 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 adhere towards the velvet ropes and and not break anything i know there was some litter but not much um one death yeah there was one death that's an unfortunate tragedy uh i i guess i would say if uh, I don't know, call murder personally. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say at least. Well, <laughs> never mind. We'll, we'll stop that conversation. Um, but yeah, I, I saw someone's post today, and I came so close to saying something, but instead I just unfollowed them because sometimes, like the hick comedian says, you can't fix stupid. So he, the fucking post, it was a fucking picture someone made where it was like uh, some dude holding up like it was like a cop who would pulled someone over and uh, it holding up like what are those fucking paint things called the, like the splotches with all the um, uh, the like Rorschach. No, no, no. Sorry, not splotches, but like the like like uh, spray can you know when you go to Paintball the to guy. the home depot and the paint section they got those cards of all the different like color swatches. codes swatches so he's holding up a swatch of like white skin tones next to the person and he's like oh. he's like protester and then the black people yeah. and he's a like, rider and oh <laughs> yeah well one compared to thousands of deaths yeah, I think I would be more inclined to call one a protest and others riots. But that's well, just me. And it's, and, 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 it's and, also just stupid because it's like you, you do know like there were in, in both protests were, slash riots, whatever you want to call them. I don't give a fuck. Whatever. Uh, there was lots of people, lots of skin tones. At both. At both. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> I think just, I, th I think my I think I had uh I think I posted it. At least I was thinking about it. Mm. Uh, what on? I didn't post it. Mm. Fuck. God damn it. I was going to say um If you believe that it's if if it's too conspiratorial to believe that the FBI was behind January 6th, but you believe that the CIA was behind fireworks <laughs> in 2020. Oh. Um, <laughs> um, 
I, I just gotcha. I don't really have an ending, <laughs> but like it's just. <laughs> Maybe I, we'll, think, I think the ending self evident. No, I, that's what I'm saying. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. My reaction no, isn't. No, yeah, no, I, no, I know. I'm just like, saying, like, yikes to that logic. Okay, but uh, is that a thing? Is that that people actually a conspiracy that people think that January 6th was FBI was behind it, or at least starting it? Yeah, and there there is. Um, so it's called conspiracy because. And and I, and it's more like the colloquial sense of conspiracy, mm. um, because there isn't like solid evidence. But um, if you look up, I think his name's Ray Epps. Okay, he's an ex-marine. He's oh. from some place out in the middle of nowhere, Midwest, at the DC riots, saying "Go to the Capitol," and people say, shout at him, "Fed." Um, he's pointing people to the Capitol. He wasn't seen at the Capitol. Um, like he, like very much like we have to go, we have to go in there. Like this is days, the days leading up to it. January Mm. 6th wasn't at the Capitol by any footage. Um, people believe that he was in the FBI. Um, interesting. That's part of it. And then you obviously have the video of the Capitol police removing the barriers to let people in. Yes. Yeah. That very Um, much happened. And, and Ray Epps and and several other individuals that we know were there, um, you know, like the, like the government went on such a big search, like including you know putting people on no fly lists, um, asking like posting to Twitter, like do you know these people? Can you help identify? Yeah, taking tips from social media, you know, people posting pictures that they got of people they knew on, at the at the riot and. Mm-hmm. Um, several people identified, including this Ray Epps guy, um, you know, never charged, never brought in for questioning, but they'll put people on no fly list. They arrested people. They They arrested a lot of people. They put people in solitary confinement, which, you know, I would argue is torture. And there's, there's like really like egregious stuff. No one's charged with treason. No one's charged with insurrection or anything like that. They're really just charged with trespassing. Right. Like, you know, I don't. I don't know. I have no idea if the FBI was behind it or not. But there are some interesting questions that no one knows. Did we get a final number on how many people were? Seven hundred and twenty-five. Crazy, right? That's a large number of people. Obviously, not all of them were arrested that day. Crazy. That like, that's nuts. I was thinking it was like barely a hundred. No, there. This is a big thing. And that you is have notable names. Crazy. People saying we have to march into the Capitol, and they didn't get charged or arrested or brought in or anything. So that's crazy. Seven hundred twenty-five people. That's a lot of fucking people. Yeah, pretty fucking nuts. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, I would love to see. A sequel to V for Vendetta now. <laughs> okay. You guys in Hollywood, you listening? Because it's gold right here. That'd be funny. That'd be amazing. Or just like a, a satirical take on V for Vendetta in the context of January 6th. Like it's yes. kind of like a... Um, like a workaholics type video or movie. N- maybe... Not that satirical. Maybe not, maybe not blatant comedy, but yeah. like... Um, I'm trying to think of a good example. Uh, like Operation Endgame, yeah, something like that, where it's just like really over the top moments, where you're like, right, you're like, am I supposed to laugh at this person dying? Y- y- yes, yes, I, I think so. I think they so. their entire body exploded. Not very common. Yeah. That's kind of funny. Or even just like, uh, I mean, the, uh, I mean, I guess it's really more British humor. That's just a little bit more subtle, but even like, yeah. um. Hot Fuzz, Shaun of the Dead kind of style. Right, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I w- that would be fantastic. I mean, I just... It's just all so funny. That's, uh, exactly. It's hilarious. <laughs> I, I don't... Like, un- except for, like, you know, that one chick dying and like people getting injured and stuff like that. Sure. Like, you know, obviously not funny, but like the, just the concept of it, like did any law enforcement officers get injured? 
Uh, yeah, I think so. Not a lot. I, I think I think it was very few. Yeah, very few. I know, like there was one officer who passed like a few days after, and there were some questions whether it was oh, related really? or unrelated. Yeah. Oh, I didn't hear that. There's cause... nothing conclusive that came about of that. I don't think. Okay. Because there was. There was initially charged that he got hit in the head with a fire extinguisher. And then mm. I think there was some questionings of um, like pepper spray usage and what was used. It, oh, you know, it's, it's interesting. Yeah, it does, nothing really panned out. And then like I think people, I, I think this was part of the insurrection. I could be thinking of something else because, I mean, 2020. Yeah, no shit. Fuck, like, yeah, yeah. just crazy year. Yeah. Um, I think that was one where, like, people thought that they used bear spray instead of, like, actual human pepper spray, but oh. that doesn't really make sense. There's not, I don't think there's anything, at least that I know of, that would indicate bear spray is more dangerous. Um, it's more potent, but, like, I think the dispersal is a lot different. Yeah. It's not, like... Pepper spray where it's like a liquid, like exactly. I don't know. Well, and correct me if I'm wrong, but but pepper spray hurts. Yeah. Yeah. So when you're in that pain, are, are you really going to be able to distinguish? Ah, it hurts a little bit more even than uh, than pepper spray. It's, well, I think it was more like the video evidence, but who knows? Yeah. In any case, it's just, it's all over the top because, I mean, you look at the videos, there, sure, there was some violence and pushing and stuff, but like... That's it, about, right? About the, like, the the max is like the level of a, of a rowdy concert. Yeah. And, and that's like the max, and then most of the video that I saw was like people walking in the Capitol being like, this is crazy. Oh, yeah. No, that, well, and that, then that's the, like even more funny part about it is, is all the news coverage and like CNN and, and yeah, places the reaction to it. They're, they're like freaking out and people are like, this is such a tragedy. And then people are just like, just walking like yeah, farting, no weapons in hands. Farting on Pelosi's desk. Like, <laughs> like, like what? You know, AOC claiming that she was traumatized and almost killed when Dude. she was not even on the property. Like, Oh my gosh. As, as funny as that is that she wasn't even on the property, but they are, uh, they had an event today in, in Congress, uh, where they literally had like people recounting the events and how terrified they were. Yeah. This this fucking woman, she had the audacity to say, you know, I I didn't know. She's like, I, the next day I had so many bruises on my body. I didn't know what it was from. If it was from, you know, standing up and getting down to my knees, you know, every time they told us to get up and get to safety. And, and I'm like, what the fuck is the matter with you? Especially like when six months before that, four months before that, we literally saw like private businesses being burned, like people beaten. Like I've seen videos of like literally people like dying. In the streets. Yeah. In the streets. Yeah. And cops not doing anything about Governors, cops, mayors not doing all, anything, all letting the, it happen. All the media's reaction to that was mostly peaceful. Yeah. Yeah. As things are on fire mostly in the background. Mostly peaceful protesters. You have, um, you know, one of the Cuomo fucking idiot brothers saying, where in the Constitution does does it say that protests need to be peaceful? You fucking ramen kids. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right there, bud. <laughs> That's the best, yeah. <laughs> uh, right, you, right there. If you, don't, if you don't know that video, you should definitely check it out. The dry ramen eating kid. That was awesome. That was the um, best thing ever. But yeah, just the, the reaction and like, especially in those times, it was just like, how do you not think this is just... Like a fucking yeah. crazy ass simulation. I, well, exactly. Hilarious. And and it's like I I get people have their biases and I get, you know, think what you will, but it's just like to have people watch that news coverage of what actually happened. And again, like you said, not not two, three, four months before of all of the destruction throughout the entire country. Uh, world really but specifically our country and and just like the blatant disregard they had for that compared to this one day stroll through a building it it was like uh, it's like actual people i'm talking and it's yeah. it's mind-blowing i just don't understand <laughs> i mean you can't understand it because there's no logic there i guess to to hold no there is those opinions it's just, it's just hilarious all you can do is laugh at it so. right 
so. at the end of the day. So we will. Yes. <laughs> And I will celebrate it just because of that insane reaction. I will go the opposite way. When in reality, I just don't really care. Well, yeah, I don't know if, like, yes, I don't care. But at the same time, like, I guess I would have to say I care more than not caring at all. Uh, in fact, to say that I would be in support of it personally, I, I think I think if somebody has a problem with the government, them wanting to storm the government building... I am in full support of that. Yeah, I mean, but like in that case, like I get that sentiment, but um, like to me, the big difference is that's like they didn't storm the Capitol. No, they did like, not. They they took a tour. <laughs> yeah, they did. Like an un, they took a fucking unguided tour through the Capitol. This yes. wasn't this wasn't violent. They they had there was no there was no weaponry. There was no end game. This was a tour, a selfie moment, some Instagram posts, some live streams. Like this was not. I feel like if you really had a good enough lawyer to, you could get off on the trespassing charges. Like, probably. did someone ever specifically tell you you can't be here? Like, no. Probably most people weren't told that. I think the where where so like in that regard, that's part of the reason why I don't care. But also in the sense that, um, like to that point, you are you've given the you've given the media such ammo that they could use to call it an insurrection right um you know with with no like you didn't gain anything you didn't storm you didn't actually storm the capital you didn't right. actually put fear right in politicians hearts like you 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 accomplished nothing but you gave the media ammunition and yeah you let the government grasp power in effect to say we're gonna charge you with the whole fucking book Good luck. We own the, yeah. we own the court, so it doesn't matter about your fucking lawyer. Yeah, that's true. So that is true. I don't know. Like in in uh in the like best of terms, it was like a bad strategy, you know, poor poorly executed move. Yeah. By some upset citizens. Well like the day it happened, I was like I th I think all of these people are stupid. But good for you. <laughs> like that's so choose to do. Good for no, you. There's a lot of protests and things that people do that I don't agree with, or I don't agree with their methodologies. But like, right? Who cares? Yeah. But as far as like when it comes down to it, like all the protests and riots that happened last year, uh, yeah, they did. Uh, or I guess two years ago, really. At this closer to two years ago at this point. Yeah, we're getting there. Um, they uh, they did it pretty well. <laughs> But, you know, we can't do those things because we have too good of beer to drink. That is true. That is true. We will celebrate from afar. Um, so you, one of the first times of you having it this year, you didn't enjoy it very much. Uh, yeah, was that at Odin? Or? Yeah. Yeah, so it was just weird there. I feel like it wasn't carbed enough. Um, I think I also know. you coming off of drinking a citrusy beer. Yep, that didn't help either. That definitely didn't help. A citrusy beer that you were like, I haven't had one of these in Tacoma for then, a long time. Because then the next time we went there, you had no shit, right? Because uh, then the next time we went there and I only had the celebration, I was like, yeah, this is a great time. So the citrus probably didn't do me any favors. And you are like, like anybody, you know, you're craving what you crave, right? You're craving a burger and someone hands you a chicken breast. You're probably like, yeah, yeah. it's not that you hate chicken breasts. It's just, I don't really want this right want now. A burger. Yeah. <laughs> We're only open for a burger. Yeah. But no, this, this is nice. Um, I feel, I do feel like, um, either last year's or two years ago that, I really liked it. And you're going to show me my numbers. You're going to be like, did you? And I'll be like, you know, fuck my numbers. They're just lies. Two okay. years ago, it was 3.25 out of 5. Okay. Which translates to a 6.5 out of 10. Yeah. What was, did you got last year's? Last year's was 4.4. Uh, yeah. I was 4.7. Yeah. So I feel like this doesn't compare to last year. 
but I feel like my two year ago rating just isn't even fair. I don't know. That must have been. I mean, that was probably our old rating scale. First off. Yeah, two years ago. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And so, um, yeah. I mean, it sounds. So last year, I mean, I could just I could just copy and paste this. We don't even have to do this part. Look, red, orange, dark, little cloudy. I don't know about the cloudy part. Yeah. Uh, smell orangey, citrus, hoppy. <sighs> yep, I can smell now. So I wanted to get a real good one in there. Taste cherry, woody, pine. Yep. Beginning, moving to warmer, maltier tones. You get some vanilla and caramel. Uh, herbal sharpness. I can kind of see that. I do like the cherry woody pine. That's yeah, chi- I'm, I'm I think with that. Yeah, I think that's very right on the nose. When I was talking in the pines episode about the celebration, I said like snowberry, and I think uh, cherry woody pine is kind of good there. I have no idea what those numbers are at all. Uh, we're talking about the volume of flavor. I think starts a hundred, goes to like sixty percent, stays on a fifteen, and just like kind of it's like a, like it never completely you start, dissipates. You start up here, and then you're going into those malts here, and then it's just like a smooth finish. Mm, mm-hmm. That's fair. Um, feel sticky mouth, coat sugar. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Medium body, I would say probably heavy body for an IPA. Yeah. I think so. I'd give you medium heavy. Like maybe not like would, heavy as in like it, would, like it's obviously go. not like a well and I I I mean like an IPA not like oh, I know like saying not not a double oh I know triple. Yeah. I just don't know if I'd go full heavy personally. What's a heavier body than this? That's an IPA. Well, there's tons of hazies if we're gonna go there. I mean, that's those are I'm IPAs. Going. Yeah, I'm going there. Oh, yeah, there's tons of hazies. Like? All of them. I think the double IPA is sure, like anything over 8%, yeah. I don't have specific uh, names to throw out there One because I, I don't even remember what the fuck we drank two weeks ago, so oh. this isn't my fault. You don't even know how heavy the beer was two weeks ago either, so. It's pretty light. <laughs> uh, sticky hand. <laughs> So, <laughs> so somebody masturbated into my beer. So here's okay. You went masturbation. Here's where I went. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. The stick hand toys. I don't. I don't. Like why? I don't know. Me neither. Not opposed to it. Uh huh. But I don't know. I probably wouldn't have the. I I probably wouldn't have the same imagery today. Hear me out. Is that reflecting our hundred sixty fifteen? Because you know it's like wham, and then it falls off. I don't think so, but maybe. I'm gonna say it is. I'll let you have that interpretation. Thank you. Uh, what color is the sticky hand for you? Green. Interesting. Yeah. It says a lot about you. Thank you. Mine's red. Okay. Wow. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thoughts. Cozy cabin. Obviously. Wood obviously. stove. Oh yeah. Obviously. Snowing. Obviously, flannel blanket. Obviously, ideal. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna shoot down any of that. Honestly, I, I'm, no. I'm with it. I'm yep. with it 100. percent Yep, I'm right there with you. I think, and, and I'll, I'll go back to this too. Like as you even already reiterated it, that cherry wood pine. Yeah, it's I. I wouldn't even got that today. No, nailed but that I'm description there. so perfectly. Yeah, past us is just they. They knew what they were talking about fact yeah and i think that is part of what makes this beer so unique too like it's not just like piney like there's a lot of piney ipas you know i wish we had the alaskan spruce ipa right next to this one that'd be gnarly because um the spruce one is definitely sweeter Mm -hmm. and it doesn't have as much caramel and malt yeah. But it's got a very similar vibe. It's more berry It is. Yeah. But it's got a similar vibe. It does. So I like I'd be that interested. one. I like that one quite a bit. Yeah, we haven't had that one again. I wonder if it's even still a thing. When's the last, this is the last time we had it when you guys were in Chicago? Uh, no, we had it on, we podcasted. After we, that? I, maybe it wasn't after. I don't know. 
I don't know when we podcast. It could be early, early days. Mm. I feel like it was. Just like the, uh, remember the Alaskan Chipotle smoked porter? Yeah, but I couldn't even get that here. You did eventually, remember? No, I don't think I could. I thought you eventually got it. No. Maybe it was after we podcasted it, then you found it, and you're like, God damn it. Yeah, I think that's what happened. I think that's what happened. Uh, Episode 23. Yeah, there you go. That's pretty early. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Made from glacier-fed water. Features Chinook, Citra, and Denali. Brewed with Sitka spruce tips and a nod to the Sitka spruce trees. Interesting. Where's that national park? Tongrass? I assume Alaska. That checks out, yeah. Because, you know, yeah. parts of Alaska, flavorful Alaskan sure. twist on American yeah. IPA. Yeah, that checks out. Very clear, orangey, some brown tones. Head is lacy and fluffy at first. Berry smell while you drink. Hoppy upon just smell. Slight nerd slash fruity pebble smell. Mm. Hop forward, soft pine feel. 75% strong berry taste following the hops. And after rain, piney air feel up front. That just sounds beautiful. Yeah. We're, we got the descriptions <laughs> we flowing were, back we, in the day. We were, we were on it. We need to step our game back up, yeah. I think. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I'm, that makes me thirsty for that beer. Honestly, though, that was the goal. I mean, shit. Yeah, yeah that really paints a picture right there. So. Uh, I'm with you, now, especially now. I <laughs> I would love to You're have like, that no side one, by no side. One this right now. Yeah, I would love to have that side by side. But no, I mean, especially based off of our. I mean, I already remembered it that way, but especially based off the description, quite a bit sweeter than this one. But it would be a cool take having them both be like warmer piney beers. So IPAs too, no less. So not a lot of. Good winter IPAs. No, no. There, there's a lot of very. I feel like when a lot of breweries try to do winter IPAs, they end up just creating what we usually refer to as like the bog standard bar IPA. Or they like, or it's just not an IPA. It's more like a dark ale. Yeah, like yeah. It's like a weird amalgamation of a dark ale and an IPA, mm-hmm. and it's just. It's funky because it's got like too many hops for a dark ale. So yeah. it's like this and they don't the flavors don't blend. They're not harmonious. They're just very like here's this weird sweetness and then you got this this bitter backbone that just they don't play well together. Yeah. I'm not I'm generally not a fan of winter beers. No. No, I think, um, well, and especially IPAs, because I've had a couple, I've had, I've had like a few like winter beers that are nice. I know, um, great, oh shit, uh, great divide in Denver makes their hibernation ale, which I think is a strong ale. Uh, I don't like strong ales. No, me, I'm typically not a fan of them either, but this one was pretty, actually, you might... You say that. Yeah, you time. you, you say like that. No, one. you say you that. Like this one. You say that, but your your taste in beers has changed You'll a lot. Like this one. Your taste in beers. You will like this one. <laughs> has changed a lot. This is right IPA is. Yeah, that one. I'm just your saying that it's change. possible you might like it now. That's true. Yeah, that's all. Um. Yeah, I've really grown up. That's true. Q. Very dramatic. Clown music. Yes. <laughs> um, I just think a nice porter. If you're not going to go full IPA, like I think, I think like this one, they, they just made an IPA that's like mm-hmm. delicious. Yeah. So like, obviously that, uh, another, another good winter one. Uh, Red Chair. Ooh, yeah. Northwest Pale Ale. Beautiful. Yeah, they do a fantastic job of that. Beautiful beer. Um, But, like, if you're not going to get, like, if you're not going to figure out that balance between, like, caramel and hops and you're going to go, like, this weird route or you're just, like you said, bog standard, just, like, it's a, it's an orange citrus IPA. Yeah. Then, like, 
porter. Go just yeah. go safe option. Go porter. Put some coffee in there. Coffee pairs well with a lot of different hops. It's so safe. Yep. Um, and they're usually pretty good. Exactly. It, man, now I want to pour. God damn it, Sierra Nevada. Why don't you make a porter? They do make a porter. Yeah, it's pretty good, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and E9. I mean, E9 has... E9? No, E9 hasn't had a... They have not been super porter heavy this season. But they have one. <laughs> yeah. It, I don't think it's on tap right now, is it? Well, I know Rowdy and Dick is on tap. Yes, that's a nice winter beer. It, it's not a porter, but it's... Amber ale is oh, nice. Oh, I was thinking Mum's the Word. That's a dark lager. Yeah. Rowdy and Dick. Uh, yeah, British uh, mall ale. So, which, I mean, that's... If you don't know what a British malt is, like, it's very similar to, like, this style of beer, but lighter. It's like a pale ale, but this. Yeah. Like, maltier tones. Yeah. Usually not as citrusy and hoppy, but... Oh, what was that, it? What that was next exit one? was good. That next exit was fantastic. I really like that. Yeah, kind of, kind of stoked they still got it. We'll see if it lasts to the weekend. Yeah, I told Todd, I like it. Oh yeah. Oh, I went on. Yeah, I'm yeah, with I was you. Like, I was like, hey, I went out of my way. I wasn't like, hey, you need to keep this on forever. But I was like, you know, I not bad that you I, guys do this kind of beer. Yeah. I I said my compliments to the chef and I was like not that they really give a shit what I think but oh. just let them know I do compliment them. But he he agreed. He he really liked that one too. Yeah. So he tried to throw it back at me and was like, "You know, we do a lot of West Coast." I'm like, "Todd, you say that you guys write it up there a lot. <laughs> I see I see you right west coast next to some of those beers. And you know, some of them are, but they're really more northwest IPAs, which is fine. Just, it's, it is, yeah, but it's very different. It is different. I just, it's, yeah, I, uh, it's kind of, it's a, it's a different debate, but it's a similar debate that we had talking about hazy IPAs. And New England style IPAs. Uh, those are the same. No. At me. You ch- you changed your mind then, man. Man, you've changed. Oh how oh, I just you know what you, I haven't changed. You like strong ales. You don't think these are the, you <laughs> think these true. are the same. I haven't changed, man. I have uh. My animosity towards hazies has just grown stronger. Mm, so you see them all the same now. I just don't care. I'm like, get the fuck out. Yeah. Okay. You know? I accept I, that. Once upon a time, I'm like, you know, there's a difference. You have your day. <laughs> <laughs> you have your name. You have your region. It's not for me. Yeah. Now I'm like, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. What kind of IPA say that was again? <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. It's like you with uh, sours versus wild ales. You're like, oh yeah. You're like, listen, I, I get it, <laughs> but no, <laughs> I get it, I get it. You have your name. <laughs> you have your yeast. <laughs> but you're all the same to me. <laughs> you have your glass, but uh, not for me. Man, they said uh, I finally unfollowed them. I forget what they po- they posted something they and said, it really pissed me off. They said Kyle Rittenhouse is a bitch. That w- and I w- he's a wild ale. He's not a sour. I would totally unfollow him if they said or, that. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. But what they're pers- do they like both sour ales and wild? Uh, yeah, know. they do, but they just think they're different because they're fucking <laughs> cunts. What am I look off color? You know. Stupid You're bitches. still falling. No, I'm not. Oh, shit. What? <laughs> what happened? You haven't followed out of a fit of rage, and you're like, eh. They deleted my comment. They're not the best. You've already you've said that several times about them. Yeah. Maybe they you should just stop commenting. I'm surprised they haven't blocked me yet, yeah. to be honest. True. They, I'm sure they don't delete anyone else's comments. I'm probably the only person they have to actually delete <laughs> the comments on. I don't know why they haven't blocked me. Yeah, I'll unfollow them right now. They, they probably were like, uh, 
Merry Christmas. The tap room is closed on the 25th, so everyone could spend time with their families. <laughs> have have a happy new year as well. And Nick was like, fuck you. <laughs> Sours and wilds are different. <laughs> you better stay open until no, you can figure the, or the same. The same. <laughs> you better stay open until you can figure that out. And they're like, who the fuck is this guy? This guy's just delete his comments, really, I guess. <laughs> it's a real drunk <laughs> asshole, but yeah, I guess they'll just delete his comments. It's not really bothering anybody else. <laughs> He's really just very specifically attacking us. I don't know why he follows us. The Instagram guy's like, and honestly, like I kind of agree with him. Like I don't, I'm not, I'm not like the huge, like b- biggest beer nerd. They kind of taste similar to me, but like, what's with this? He, he, yeah, he's yeah, he's just so man, very attackative. I just feel like I have to combat him just because. <laughs> God. Yeah, me and off color go yeah, way that's back. True. Yeah, yeah, that is true. Yeah, you're not wrong, off color Instagram guy. You're not wrong. But hey, you know, like I always say, um, in this life, yeah, you can't win. <laughs> Sure, you could try. Uh, but at the end of the day, you're not going to like everybody. I wish more people understood that. Just fact. Yeah. If you get a room of 20 people together, you're going to like like four people. top, And you're going to dislike about four people. And then... You're just going to not really give a shit about 12. That's pretty true. And uh, just live your life that way. It's fine. 16 people you could care less about. than four of those you just really don't like. And that's fine. It's okay. They don't like you either. And even those people just shouldn't really even care less about. Uh, so Empirical Brewing Company in Chicago, they posted, and I know city... <sighs> I'll tell you my problem with posts like these afterwards, but the city of Chicago, they implemented there. You got to be vaccinated. You got to show proof of vaccination to get in and stay these places now uh, started on the third. And so they made their post about that. And, uh, and I commented, I said that it's sad to see what the former vice president has scared cities into doing. Cause it's not like it's a mandate on any federal level or state level it's just these specific uh cities really that are taking initiative to do it yeah and uh and then this fucking cunt commented on my comment she said ugh shut up (laughs) i said oh no my feelings and that was that but i just don't like she said, if it is winter, you better get your Ugg boots on. Yeah, it's true. I just don't like... And your Reeboks with the straps. With the straps? Yeah. Yeah. I guess I just don't like the tone that people, that, that businesses take with this. Um... Yeah, I just don't think there's, I you know, like I, I feel like you have to take the route, like, like apologize and say, like say, hey, we're sorry, this wasn't our choice. Yeah, but you're gonna piss off the people that you know think that it's a good thing. So like, I just don't, I don't think there's, there's no be. winning. Which you know, for for someone like me, you know, I'm fine, like pissing off, like like we just said, right. You're not going to, not everyone's going to like you. You're not going to like everyone. Live your life accordingly. Yeah. Um, But I don't, like, unfortunately, I don't think enough people have that perspective. Yeah. But yeah, you're right. If more people had that perspective, then I think a lot more businesses, they would A, not do it, or B, they would be like, you know, it is what it is. Right. This this is what the city's having us do. We want to stay in business. We want to serve people. Exactly, yeah. Here's what it is. Right. And I, and I don't, and I would never fault, you know, any business for operating that way. I do fault businesses like Revolution Brewing Company where after Chicago opened up the businesses, so after all the lockdowns, yeah. they had the audacity to say, ooh, actually, we're still really scared. 
we're going to stay closed for another like three, four weeks and then we'll open up. And I'm like, who the fuck are you guys? Yeah. Like everything's fucking fine. You're depriving people from having jobs now for no reason. Like, what, what the hell are you doing? Just, I don't know. I don't know. But alas, things will be normal and all will be forgotten and but Alice. But Alice. And it's going to be funny. Yeah. I, I mean, it already is funny. Like it already is funny. Them, them being like, oh, it looks like vaccines don't really do a whole lot. Oh, it looks like masks don't really do a lot. Oh, it looks like quarantine doesn't. It's actually, really, it's actually worse. Yeah, so we're going to cut that time down. Oh, it looks like the tests aren't. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, make sure you, like, just stay home if you're sick. Uh, probably don't go to work. Work from home if you can. Um, other than that, just kind of just live your life. Live your life, yeah. It's like, you know, getting it's, sick before 2020. Yeah, it's crazy, Doc. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Very interested, uh... As we kind of wrap this bad boy up, I, uh, I'm not interested. I am interested, I guess, but I'm excited to, I got a couple more tools coming in the mail and I'm stoked to get working on those tables. That'd be a good time. I'm just happy to have a garage finally. Look at you adulting. <sighs> man, they go here and you can get on tools. What are you going to do for uh, table legs? Uh, I haven't decided where I want to get them from because I'm sure a lot of people on Etsy do them too, but I've seen them at Second Use too where they got like the, they got these metal, just like black metal. Like the V legs? Yeah, yeah, yeah the little yeah. Uh, hairpin type things. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm ideally looking at. They had a few other metal type legs. They're I don't know. They were like uh, they were just kind of like rectangles, I guess. They were at the they open the top where you screw them in, and then just all the way down. So those are all right, but I like the V shaped ones. I think those look better. The one downside about the V ones is that they can get uneven really easy. So just how how so like. One can be like a little bit shorter than a rock. Oh, and uh, that really annoys me personally. Oh, it's the most annoying thing on the, in the universe. So yeah, just I, make sure you when you put them on, you're making sure they're they're level. Oh yeah, because if you need some spacers up top, that's probably the easiest way to fix it. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, so yep, yeah, just throw some shims in between yep. there and call it good. But yeah, those will look good. Yep. Absolutely. I'm totally going to buy those fucking theater seats. Those <laughs> things are sick, man. You see them? Yep. Nice. <laughs> You're like, yes. Yep. The only confirming what I already knew. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they are like, and they're like pretty roomy between, like, I feel like like you go, you go to like a, like a play or something like that. Like the seats are like really fucking uncomfortable and like really close together. Like this is already a small room. Could you not have me sitting on top of like the fucking fat ass next to me? <laughs> like it's a little difficult, but these are these are pretty roomy, so it'll happen in the near future. I just want to, you know, speaking of celebration, yeah, and our and our thoughts on it, yeah. I just want to like go camping. Yes, I've been watching a lot of like bushcraft and survival videos like i'm like on it i've been in the mood dude all i've been watching is yellowstone and cattle ranching and cowboying and i'm like yeah in, i just i just want to go out in, in the middle of nowhere in the past like two weeks i've watched like like days worth of just <laughs> Bushcraft and outdoor, like solo survival, like bowstring fire making, all all that shit. That is, I've just been amazing. like, I've been in. It's 
fucking cold open the mountains, but let's do it. <laughs> it like it is dumping snow up there. Well, and I just don't, you know, like. I feel like I have a lot of uh, knowledge of how to get things done. Okay. I have a lot of practice. Mm, okay. And like, you know, I don't, I don't like, I, like I've been watching a lot of stuff, like people don't bring tents and stuff. So I'm like, I, I'm not going to be able to do that. Mm -mm. You know, that kind of thing. But I'm like, yeah, I need, I need a tent. Yeah. Um, I always, I always tell Renee this tents, and, and she yeah. says there's no difference. I said, there's a difference between, knowing how to do something and being able to do it yeah and she just doesn't understand the concept i'm like i know she's like then you don't know how to do it i'm like no that, like i this is my example every time knowledge yeah this is my example every time is i know experience. exactly how to play the drums i know how to play the drums i'm a musician like i know yeah. exactly how to do it i know how, what beat and like how many syncopations on whatever you're supposed to do i know that I just can't do it. I need, well, you I need don't, you don't have the muscle memory. Yeah. You, you don't have the experience. Yeah. You don't have, you don't, you literally don't have the muscles. Yeah. And she's like, then you don't know how to play the drums. I'm like, I do know how I yeah. can. I'm like, if someone who, who, who can play, who can play the drums sat down, I can tell them exactly what to do and it would be a song. Yeah. I know how it's just difference. Um, and the other thing is just like timing and everything, right? Like I, I can yeah. do a lot of that stuff. I don't know how long it's going to take me to accomplish it because I'm not practiced. That's true. Um, and and I just don't have a good judgment because I'm not experienced. Like once you kind of once you do things a lot, you're like, oh, it'll take me this amount of time. Yeah. So not only will it take me longer because I'm not experienced in it, I also have no ability to like even estimate because I'm. So, so lay out lay out a scenario for me. How how long, like ideally, like if you're trying to, if you're trying to experience these newly learned traits, how long would you want to go camping for? And then what what are some tasks that you would like to accomplish while camping? So, uh, like for like beginner level, like the first time we go out, kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so I think, I think it's just, it's going to have to be tent camping. Yep. There's no getting around it. I totally agree. Um, I would like to, so I, I just want to do like an overnight back country. Okay. So just an overnight. Yeah. But like, you know, hike in, don't like road search for a campsite but like hike in somewhere yep um uh, find a good campsite always uh, wanted to do that i'd like to build like a may maybe fashion like some sort of like bench or something out of some like dead stuff that'd and, be cool you know not bring any firewood you know go go harvesting that kind of thing um yeah you know, it's just small stuff like that should you should be like anyone should be able to accomplish, you know. Yeah, right. And I like that. I like the sound of that. Obviously fire and Right. It'd be cool to like um bring some food for like a cool setup. Maybe like bring something that's frozen. You gotta you gotta fashion a tripod over the fire to to hang it over the smoke so it, you know, thaws out kind of thing. That'd be cool. Yeah, man, we got to get that going because we can get any camping in this past year. We went camping that one time in 2020. That was a good time. And that was like, that was chilling, you know? Yeah. That was chilling. I have been I've been interested lately about getting uh, like a hammock to camp in too. I've been interested in that. Obviously, in this weather, not so much. I mean, you just throw a tarp over you. And I know, you know, but kind of same thing with like what you're saying. We were like, I haven't done it yet. So like, <laughs> I don't want my first time being in the yeah. middle of the fucking like dead of winter. So. But I, I would like to camp that way, like no tent, like just have like a hammock and sleeping bag and yeah, that'd be nice. So. 
I still need to go to Ape Caves again. Uh, they're closed right now. Really? Because yeah, snow? They've been, they've been closed for a while now. Oh, okay. I, I think that's just a seasonal thing. So just, That makes sense. It's, it's done. It's coming up like late spring they'll be reopened. I think like April. Oh, okay. Early spring. Okay. All right. They don't get a huge amount of snow. Sure. In that area, so. Yeah. Just get like super cold or what? I think they just close for like winter season. Okay. They just don't want to deal with all that it entails. Yeah. And probably like it just, they're, you know, they don't want to like, uh, staff up, you know, for such a low amount of volume of people. You know? Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. So. Have you still been working out? No, I kind of took some time off for the holidays. And yeah. Now I'm just like, I mean, first time on the podcast, I'm changing jobs. So yeah. I've just been a little like apprehensive about getting back into the swing of things when I don't know what next week is going to look like. So totally. Totally. I'm like, eh. That's fair. So Hoodsport, which is pretty close to like the area, I guess I could have kept that on the map. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hoodsport is kind of the area that I want to go to because I'm fam- I'm relatively familiar with that area. Yeah. Um, that's where like Lake Cushman is. Oh, okay. Yep. I see. So high, you know, maybe back in this area or up in here somewhere, this is where, uh, Mount Eleanor is. So, yeah, I, man, that's still, I need to redeem myself. Need to make it to the top of that next time. But it's good country, right? Like, yeah. So, and it, so Hoodsport weather, 44 degrees, like that's, we can survive out in 44 Oh, yeah. Easily. Yeah. Easily. All right. All right. Yeah, absolutely. Let's get something. Let's get something going. Yeah, just an overnight. Absolutely. Nothing to it. I mean, you know. Something. <laughs> it will be work. <laughs> the way that we're going to do it, it will be work, but it'll be good. But I want it to be work. So. Yeah. No, I was, because you, you talk, talking about camping, I was wondering about how, like going for, I mean, even you saying you want to hike in, like how your, how your knee was doing with working out. Eh, we'll figure it out. <laughs> All right. Fair it's enough. I'm not doing great right now. Oh, yeah, do you think that's we'll because you uh, haven't been working out? I think it just goes through phases. Okay. Uh, let's rate the spirit. Yeah, no kidding, right? I just, so I'm keeping the same thing as last year, but I did say as far as critique, because that is a new category, it can be a little sweet. It can be. Yeah, it can be. If you're not in the right mindset, it can be. It can be a little sweet. We're an IPA. I think that's totally fair. Um, let's see what I said. 4.4 last year. Um... I'll just I'll I'll just reach for the stars and give it that even four point five. I was thinking exactly the same thing. Yeah, I'll give it the even four point five, but I'll stay in my amazing awesome category. Um, I'm not picking one way or the other, and it's not like you know I because I don't like doing that. Mm-hmm. But here's my reasoning. Um, uh, in in the wrong mood. And I think I'm kind of there right now. Yep. This can be a little sweet. I get that. And like that would be my one tweak is dialing down the sweetness. Just to just a smidge. But in the right mood, like I think if you're out in the snow, it's a little bit colder. W. And you're in the right mood, this is like hitting perfect. Yep. So that's why, like, it's not so much like I can't decide one way or the other. I just think it's like, depending on your mood, it's going to be like right there near perfect or it's going to just be perfect. Well, like, like Red Chair at the Cabin, there are far fewer experiences that, that compare to that. Yeah. But, but, but something like this, like something like this at the Cabin is like on that same level. If, yeah. if not even a little bit better, because I think I like this a little more than Red Chair, but, uh, yeah, no, I'm with you. Just uh, like at Odin the other night, even or that I was just really feeling this beer. I'm like, oh, it's fantastic. Well, and we were like right out in the snow, right? 
Yeah. So yeah, that was after. Sense. Yeah, that was just right after all the snow hit. So yeah, so. yeah, that's Same fair. Something. I'm a little warm. I mean, that's what's happening here. Yeah. yeah, it is hot in this fucking room. It's all not the time. cold. Yeah, that's all the time. interesting. Hey, do you have vent? No. Yeah, yeah, you can close your vent. I don't think that's what. No, I I kid you not. I never thought about that a day in my life. Renee, I think it's what it is. Renee, last night. Renee, last night. She went. Uh, she said. I think it's what it is. Let's just let's close vent. I said you can't do that. And she's like, you can close vents. I'm like, I know you can close vents. I don't think you can close this vent. And she proved me wrong. And she closed it. And then our room has been freezing. You can close this vent, but like we don't really have our heater on. Yeah, you do. Not really. Yes, you do. Not really. Think of it this way. No, it does go on. Yeah, because like, think of it this way. Your thermostat's in your entryway, like ours the, is. The problem is all the heat rises. You guys have well, a that one story house. Yeah, you're right. That does make a big got difference. Like 18 stories. And do you have an do you have an addict? Yeah. Addict? Is there a teen addict? I don't know. I don't but know. yes. Okay. Well, then that is to your benefit, at least. It's not very big. Whoa, oh. it the heat keeps going is my point. It doesn't just stop here. It stops right there. No, it don't. <laughs> That's where the attic is. <laughs> no. I think if you close your vent, you might be surprised. Because it has to heat the front to reach temp so much more. Yeah. Cause cause you cause you're gonna say, if it does nothing, if it you're gonna feel that. Feel that. What about it? Feel it. What about it? It feels cool. <laughs> Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, but it feels cool because it's so hot in here. <laughs> Got him. Did you close it? Yeah. All right. Yeah, worst thing that happens? Nothing. See you in two weeks, and we'll let you know how this adventure goes. <laughs> Bye. Later. Later.